Hi everyone, welcome to Jira How To series where we are going to have a look on most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Chexa and today we will have a look on how we can create project in Jira. But I will also cover different types of project in Jira, so you choose the right one for your particular use case. So when you are in Jira, to create a project, you click on the project here in the navigation and then create project. You're going to be taken to this screen. It might uh, look a little bit overwhelming, but it is actually particularly helpful because here you are presented with many project templates that you can select from that already have a predefined configuration. So you don't need to really think that much about the settings uh, and configuration of your project, but you can jump straight into creating the tasks. There are different templates here from a software development, service management. There are even templates for marketing that are quite helpful. So they have a predefined Kanban columns and predefined issues that are typical, for example, for campaign management or content management and so on. There are also templates for finance, human resources, design, uh, some personal projects and so on. So I'm pretty sure that you can find the right one. You can also have a look on the details of uh, some of the templates. So some templates already provide you with kind of like a detailed section where you can read when you can use this template, what kind of product uh, from Jira you're going to be using, recommendations, the breakdown of the workflow and so on. So you can read more info about each template uh, before you go and use it. If you would like to use the template, you just click on use template and then you can go through the create project flow where you uh, give your project a name, my awesome project. The project key is automatically created, but you can also edit it if you would like to use, uh, for example, a shorter one. The project key is important because all the issues that are going to be creating in this project are going to be tagged. Uh, with this project key so it's kind of like an ident identifier of that project for you as well and then once you're ready you can click on create project and the project is now created for you and it's ready to use let's have a look at the different types of project that you can create in jira if you really want to for example use jira software or you want to create a jira service management project you can scroll down to this section where you can find the products now there are four jira products currently available it is Jira software, which is mainly used for uh, Jira so uh, for running software projects or tech projects, but can, it can be also used for marketing projects or creative teams and so on. There is Jira service management project, which is good if you would like to, for example, create uh, forms for your company and manage the, manage the IT requests and keep your customers updated or your team members updated with the progress of the ticket that they raised for you. The next one is uh, Jira work management, which is actually former Jira core. It's a basic, uh, it's a basic Jira product, so it allows you to create a backlog it allows you to create the jira tickets you can also create a workflow and the issue types and so on so you can customize all of that atlassian also added uh, tables on top of this so you can uh, go and uh, like see your issues in the table view and you can also edit the fields which is quite handy and it also does have a roadmap and a forms if you would like to for example collect the feedback or collect the ideas from your team and store them in this project you can do that as well and the last one is an experimental product right now uh, that is in beta and it's Jira product discovery, uh, which is good for managing the ideas and prioritizing your ideas. With this product, you will be prioritizing your ideas separate from your Jira software projects. If you are interested in uh, prioritization in Jira software project service management and work management, you can have a look at Foxley, which is one of our Jira apps uh, that will allow you to do that. So for example, if you know that you would like to create a, a Kanban or a Scrum project, you can just come here and you can skip all of this project templates fluff and you can just go and create your Kanban project here. You will be prompt with um, kind of like a project type. So in Jira, there are two different types of projects. It's team managed projects and company managed projects. The difference is quite simple although they sound very fancy. So with a company managed projects, you have a global configuration for these projects. So for example, if you would like to have a shared 
issue types or workflow that you would like to reuse and then edit in multiple projects, uh, you would go with the company managed one. So it's a little bit uh, slightly more advanced uh, for the configuration, but it definitely does worth it if you are a larger organization and you want to kind of like keep your projects configurations in sync. It also does have a slightly more features than the team managed projects because they are uh, older so they do have a more reports and so on but the team managed projects are getting updated every day and are getting closer and closer to the company managed projects on the other hand team managed projects are good for the teams that just want to quickly start their project they don't want to worry about the configuration or maybe kind of like changing the config configuration of other projects and so on so you can go and create a team managed project you can also create a team managed project if you are not Jira admin if your admins assigned uh, the permission for you to do so so you are not necessarily dependent uh, on the admins so these are good for kind of like a quick projects or uh, if you just don't like to do a lot of setting up. So for example, us at Jaxo, our marketing team is mainly using these team managed projects because it's much simpler for them to do the configuration themselves. Me with the product team, we are like more likely to use a company managed project because we do have a portfolio of the apps and I just wanted to make sure that uh, each app has its own project, but the workflow and the issues and all the configuration is same for these projects. The difference between creating them is not that big, so uh, you just give the project name and project key. So if you click on create a company managed project, this is how the form looks like. And then for the team managed projects, this is how the form looks like. So the only difference there was uh, choosing the uh, access level. All right, so that's about it for this video. I hope that you learned how you can create a project in Jira and you also learned something about the different Jira products like Jira software, Jira service management, Jira work management and Jira product discovery. But you also learned a little bit of differences between team managed projects and company managed projects in Jira. If you found this useful, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified when the next Jira how-to is going up. See you in the next one.